Uh, Ryan Little. <laughs> I recently published a video about the M4 Pro Mac Mini that I've been using. It sparked a really good conversation around why I chose the Pro model over the base M4. I was thinking of getting an M2 Max or Ultra, but when the Pro came out, I kind of thought that would be a better middle of the road solution for me because I just needed a minor bump up in spec to really make my editing process smoother. And I was right. The extra RAM, the extra CPU and GPU cores have really made the difference between dropping a timeline down to 1080p to edit or editing on a native 4K timeline along with adjustment layers, color grading, titles, special effects, and it chewed through all of that without me having to really make too many compromises. If you're using any Adobe software, you already know that it's a memory hog. They will use every little bit of RAM you can throw at them and still generate a huge swap file. Final Cut Pro behaves a little bit better when it comes to managing RAM, but you can easily hit the 16 gigabyte limit in no time flat. Editing on a 4K timeline, I threw everything at it, including the kitchen sink, and there was no problem at all. I think at the peak it was maybe using 30% of the total system resources. And the video at the end of this is about two minutes long and it rendered out in about two and a half minutes. And that's why I got the Pro over the base M4. I want that headroom, not just for the stuff I'm doing now, but for more demanding projects down the road where you just need just that little bit of extra.